All right, my name is Ralph Havens. I'm a physical therapist here in Bellingham, Washington, and I'm gonna show you a few exercises and drills that I use personally for my running, and, um, and you can try them before and after you run and see, um, see how you like it. What I recommend you do is go out and test a little 10, 30 second run right now, or a walk, and then do these exercises, and then um, test again your 10 or 30 seconds walk or run, and notice what you notice that's different, and notice how the, the run goes. So I'm gonna hand this over to my cohort here, and we're gonna get started. So um, the first one is there's little points right underneath your collarbone, and all you gotta do is just tap them. And there's their, their kidney points, their oxygen points, their immune system points, and they, um, they, help, um, they help you run, they'll help your, your posture. And when you do it, we like to jump up and down. So this is a little thing that we just do about, oh, 40 or 50 jumps, ups and downs. Okay, the next one is a technique from um, Primal Reflex Release Technique. John Imes is a physical therapist in Poway, California. And what you do is you bend to the side and cough two, two times. <coughs> and then bend to the side and cough two times. <coughs> and that relaxes your diaphragm. If you've got a, a side ache, um, that can help with the, with the side ache. Now this next one is very cool. I learned it from my friend um, Ben Boyd in San Diego many years ago, chi running um, coach, and um, it's to help you get the paw back so that your foot hits the ground and you do a nice, a nice um, soft foot. So what you do is you think of a little um, groove right here in your lower leg, and then think of like you have a little button right here. And what you're gonna do is um, bend your, the knee you're standing on and slide the other one with the button up that little groove. Now when you do it, your feet are really relaxed. So you, if you notice, I'm not doing this. I'm not holding the toes up. I'm letting the toes just totally relax. Because when you're in the swing phase of running, when your foot's off the ground, you don't need those muscles. And if you're using them, if you're tightening those muscles when you're, uh, when you're swinging your leg, you're using a lot of extra muscles you don't need to use. And then we'll do the other side. So I've got a little groove right here and a little button right here. And I'm gonna bend the knee and I'm gonna slide that heel, the heel button up the inner leg button, or under inner leg groove. And as you can notice again, my left leg right now is really soft. And just to show you the difference, we're not gonna do this. So that's not it. Feel how much tension is in your leg when you do that. And then instead, let that leg relax. And notice how there's very little tension like that. So try that one. Okay, the next one is one um, from um, Greg Johnson, a physical therapist, Institute of Physical Art. And you, um, you start like this, and you raise your hands, and you turn your hands, and you turn your little your fingernails as if you're trying to touch your fingernails to your shoulders, and turn your little fingers to the back wall, and, um, and your elbows at your side. And this will help to um, lift your chest and give you strength in your upper back. Real important for running. <clears throat> this next one is from Integrated Manual Therapy. It's to um, drain the, um, the lymph system to help you get lighter. So you put one hand on your head and the other hand can go in a pocket if you like and the shoulder goes forward and backwards about 10 times or so you can do it more and I'm not going up I'm just going forward and backwards and then the other side okay the next one is um over your head we're gonna do it it's a complicated movement but it works really well um, is you um, you let your hands go up and you interlock your fingers. And when you push your hands to the sky, you um, lift up off your heels. And then you bring your, your, your hands down, and then you bring your arms to the side and you let yourself come off, your heels touch the ground again. So we, we go up, we interlock the fingers, we go up off the heels, we come down, and then just like that. So you lift up, you come on your tiptoes, you reach up, you push down. We actually do this one when we do our drills running a little bit. This is from Qigong. 
Okay, the next one is hip rotations. Just done like this. You let your knees bend and you just think of your tailbone making a little circle. Just like this. And just like this, it's a little funny. And then the next one is grapevines, um, like you're picking grapes. All right, and I'm gonna show you um, two more. One is a, um, a stretch for the side of your body, the big latissimus dorsi muscle. Just hang on to a pole or a tree, and you can see my feet are like this, and I'm just gonna stretch this right side of my body. And not a big stretch, and not a long stretch. One or two seconds is plenty. And then you go the other way. And see my feet, and I'm just letting this stretch. Works great if you have a skinnier tree. And then the front of the chest, just like this. We'll stretch, and really one or two seconds is plenty. All right, so try that out. Go for a little run, a 10 or 30 second run now, and, and notice what you notice. Notice if you feel looser. In the next video, I'm gonna do a, a, um, a video and show you some running form that I use to, um, to help, help us run. So um, we'll be talking about lifting up from your chest and the posture of your arms and the posture of your pelvis. And, um, and it'll be um, a really cool little thing, a short little video coming up, um, coming up next. All right, thanks a lot. GoPro, stop recording. Oh, GoPro, stop recording.